Welcome everybody to the Halloween special, the penalty box segment for October 31st. And I've got three NHL bets to give out. Let's start right off the bat with the Montreal Canadiens heading into Washington to play the Capitals. And I'm going to tell you right now, plus 175 dog. I like the Montreal Canadiens here. And I like this bet for two reasons. First off, I like to bet against the Capitals in the spot that they're in. And then I like to bet on Montreal in the spot. So let's talk about Montreal first. Okay, look, the Habs are not a great team. Uh, I'm with you guys there. But this is a team that just played their worst game of probably the last many years. They allowed the Seattle Kraken to put up eight goals on them. This is a bunch of professional athletes, folks. And I want to bet on a team after they play probably the worst game they're going to play all year. That's the position Montreal finds themselves in. Conversely, I want to bet against a team who just played the best game that they're going to play all year. The Washington Capitals just played the New York Rangers, and they outshot the New York Rangers 46-19. to It will not get better for Washington again. That is a domination from start to finish against the best team in the conference. So here we have a Montreal team coming off of an embarrassing, humiliating loss and a Washington team giving everything that they can possibly give to come up with the best win they have of the season. It seems the opposite will happen tonight. I like Montreal plus 170-175. Now, before we get into our next game, I do want to make mention that I have two NHL plays up tonight for my clients. I did lose my NHL play yesterday. It was on the Colorado Avalanche. It was a bad play. It was a mistake. I'm mad at myself for doing it. But Colorado did dominate um, the game and almost outshot Tampa Bay 2-1. to one. It just the game got away from them early, and they couldn't find their way back in. So I've got two NHL plays up for my clients tonight and one NBA play. Please take advantage of that. Now we turn our attention to Edmonton going into Nashville. And... Uh, What's really keeping me off of the side here, guys, simply put, is that I don't want to bet against Nashville. I think this is a team that is resurrecting their season. They've uh, won three of their last four games, but got points in all four of them. And I think, you know, with them coming home, etc., I don't want to play against them. I also don't want to play against Edmonton here because of that superstar out first game angle. And that angle is a really good winning angle in a regular on a regular basis. So we're going to look at under the total in this game. I know the total is six, but let's be honest here. With Connor McDavid in the lineup, Edmonton has been struggling to score. They put up uh, two or less goals three of their last five games. And I think in order for Edmonton to win games moving forward without Connor, they're really going to have to focus on defense, shut the neutral zone down, and keep teams from skating uh, and cycling fast. So... Uh, I like the under here, and I also like the fact that Nashville is a team that I think will have a great defense all year round and good goaltending. So I like under the total of six in this spot. Now we turn our attention to Chicago and San Jose, and this game is another game that has the number six related to it, and we're going to go on over the total. One of the angles I talk about on a regular basis is when two bad teams play against each other, I want to look to take the over in those games. San Jose and Washington are bad teams. To give you perspective, San Jose is 2-7 and seven on the year. Washington, 3-6. and six. I want to take these type of games over the total. You know, Chicago is scoring. I mean, look, they don't get more than two or three in a game. But, man, give me three goals tonight against San Jose. I think San Jose can give me three as well. They've scored three or more in their last three games. Over six seems very light here. That's where we're going in this game. So to summarize, we like the Montreal Canadiens plus the points. We like under the total in the Nashville-Edmonton game, and we like over the total in Chicago and San Jose. Happy Halloween, everybody. Lots of love to you all. We'll see you tomorrow on the Penalty Box segment.